Welcome Thunder community to um, a weekly Thunder Talk. We're just, uh, we're about, uh, you know, getting through this uh, second season or season B as they're calling it here in the COVID years or this COVID year, um, kind of a crazy week, um, you know, not only with the weather, but with quarantines and, and things like that. And so it just getting uh, uh, pretty hectic and, and trying to squeeze everything back in and stuff. I do have to say, like I, I think I said last week, our, our teams have been super great about battling through the quarantines. We've been making it work. Um, I might have jinxed us a little bit there and, and, and had, to, had to quarantine a team, but, um, but we've been, uh, I would say, by far the best in our league. Um, and, but, you know, we still got a couple weeks to go with this season B um, with basketball, wrestling, swimming and stuff. So we're going to do our best to get through it. Um, no, make sure that you're uh, looking at Pikes Peak Athletic Conference. I know there's probably a lot of crossouts. There's a lot of reds on my side of it. It gets confusing, but um, you know, be in contact with coaches. Um, we're regularly updating them if there's changes and things like that. Some things that we're running into that are making it tough here these last couple weeks is there's so many reschedules within the whole city that we're we're finding out there's already an official shortage and now there's you know with all these reschedules and things like that it's getting crazy and and for like basketball we have to get to a league champion um, because that's an automatic qualifier and so just kind of navigating those um, things throughout the city is tough you know with you know with the quarantines the weather the officials um, i mean it's 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 getting a little uh, dicey and, and things like that so no we'll do our best when something gets canceled to reschedule it but with two weeks left i i don't you know it's kind of slim um and so just know that moving forward we're going to do our best uh so we're, we're hanging in there um so wrestling wrapped up their regular season uh the the snow day kind of knocked out their last event, um, they'll compete at the regionals on the 5th of March. Um, that's actually got moved to Discovery Canyon um, and there's limited fans and all that. It's, it's actually a, like a big documentation that I'm trying to figure out how to navigate it for the state of, and stuff. So it's good. Uh, Girl Swim's got a couple more events um, and then um, they'll um, be headed to their state tournament, which is uh, March 13th. Um, there's no final word on how that's going to look yet, but they're trying to figure it out as well. Um, and then basketball, we've got you know about six games left, uh, seven in on the boys' side, just because of a reschedule or a couple of reschedules. But we're we're making it. We're getting through there. Um, we've been pretty fortunate in that team aspect to have very few games canceled. Um, but we've had a few because of other teams and, and things like that. But we're we're getting through there. We're gonna we're gonna make it. Um, we're super excited. Um, you know, some good things are happening in our sports programs. Um, and um, yeah, and so we're gonna make it through. Uh, the biggest thing coming up here is March eighth will be season C. That will be boys soccer and girls volleyball. Um, I just ask that you get registered. Make sure your physicals up to date. Um, because it will be a one-day tryout. March 8th will be when tryouts are. There'll be one day, um, and then we're moving. We got to get going. Uh, like I said, the season's only about six weeks long, and uh, so we'll have one-day tryouts, and then we'll get rolling with um, with boys soccer and uh, and uh, girls volleyball. There is a little bit of overlap with the with the basketball. Uh, teams and the wrestling and the swimming um, the coaches and I'll work all that out but know that kids need to get if they have not been playing a sport they got to get their registration in Planet High School they need to make sure their physical is up to date please make sure that your athlete is ready for that season B or season C um, and and I would also say you know get ready for season D as well uh, you know that doesn't start till about April 26th but we need to make sure that we're ready for it. Um, so that's that's kind of where we're at with the registration. It's the same as we've done in the past on Planet High School. You got to upload everything. Please do not send your physical in physically to one of us. Uh, please do not hand your physical to your um, athlete and have them bring it to the coach. That, those are unacceptable. We can't take those. So um, please upload them into Planet High School. If you have questions, contact our, my office. Uh, Kristen's really good about it. She's got. You can also send a little 
email to big teams or Planet High School support. And I'll be honest, they're back within, they've been getting back within within about a day. They get back and kind of get everything taken care of. So it's been pretty good with that. So um, yeah, if you can do that, that'd be awesome. Um, so that's for season C coming up, starting March 8th is tryouts. And then we get going, I think games start three days later, uh, volleyball and, um, or maybe it's five days later and soccer. Um, so we'll see what uh, see see how we'll do that. We're getting outside now with some of those things, and that's cool. There is some off season programs going. I would recommend making sure you're talking to your coach. Um, they're getting some off season stuff going, um, and so we're excited about those season D uh, teams being able to you know get back on the fields or 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 even get some gym time and stuff like that. And then the last thing I just want to reiterate is eligibility. So I've been here now 15 years. Eligibility has not changed. We're a weekly eligibility, meaning that on the thir a Thursday of every week, we pu pull a prelim. We give it to the coaches. The prelim just shows all the Ds and Fs. After that, the coaches talk to the kiddos who's failing or is close to failing. And then on Monday, we pull the final one. Usually it's about 1 o'clock or, or noon. Um, that gives kids, you know, some time, gives teachers some time, things like that, um, and uh, and we pull it. If they're ineligible, meaning they have a couple Fs on, on that Monday, they do not compete for that week. It's a weekly thing, so the next week they get a chance to redeem themselves and get back off the eligible, ineligible list and be able to participate. It hasn't changed. It's the same. And if you're an incoming freshman or you're a freshman and you've ne they've never really had an eligibility, process or whatever, um, talk to the coaches, you can reach out to me. Um, but I, I would just ask that parents, uh, please, uh, please be on your kids about, there is still a requirement for us to report eligibility, that kids need to get up out of bed, get on their cameras, get on their, on their, um, um, you know, get on their schoolwork and things like that. We still are, we still got to operate that way. Um, you know, I have two kids, you guys all know that, and they, you know, I, I go in and, and nudge them out of bed before I leave for the day to get them going. I check in with them during the day, and, and um, they, I think they get kind of tired of me hounding them, but it still is important because um, we got to make sure that we're doing our academic needs first. And so please help us with that. Um, you know, if they have to have their camera on, if they need to get up and do their workout, if they, if they have to get their math assignment, what, whatever it is, just... Please be on them, um, and and because it has affected some kids, um, you know, playing sports this, uh, you know, these last two seasons, season A and season uh, B. So, anyway, with that, eligibility is important. Please um, help us out with that. Um, as far as just some other updates, um, some people have reached out about, you know, transportation and 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 things like that. I, I want you to know that we try to get buses for our outside games, meaning outside our El Paso County. Um, they are in a little bit of a crunch over there. They get quarantined just like <laughs> anybody does. And so they are short right now. Um, we've had some buses uh, take our athletes to the out of, out of town stuff, but um, hopefully, you know, we're working on a, a bus uh, for this week for a couple of the games that are out of town. But um, so I just want you to know that we, we continue to um, work with them um, and and trying to make sure that we can get some buses here and there. Um, but if we're local, we're just uh, you know using the carpool method this weekend. Hopefully, you know next year we're normal. Um, I really do. I've been on a couple of committees meetings this weekend with uh, the state and, and Chassa, and and we're hopeful that we'll be you know back to regular stuff and jumping on buses and playing lots of games and and things like that. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, um, thanks again for your support. If uh, you have a, uh, and, and you want to serve our school, we're looking for some booster members to jump on the booster team. Um, you can reach out to uh, Mike Clausen, the president, or you can come and see me or talk to me. I, we'd love to have some uh, people. We've had some longstanding uh, uh, people on the um, board, and we just like to um, get some new and fresh people on there to help us out and continue the um, awesome uh, work that they've done and so I appreciate the booster team thanks for working with me on that but uh, anyway if you if you feel like you'd like to serve Discovery Canyon and the athletic department please let me know um, anyway with that being said thank you so much so uh, get your kids registered for season uh, C and D 
and uh, make sure we're staying on them about their grades. Um, and we're going to make it through this season B. Super proud of our coaching staffs for following the mitigation rules. Um, they've done a good job. I'm super proud of the kids and even how they've competed this year and just uh, through the whole thing. We got to be grateful for this opportunity to compete. Um, and it's been excited to watch the kids um, and stuff. So thanks so much, and we'll see you in the gyms.